What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel today. So we are on the Ginu today. It is going to be hopefully a beautiful day. We're going to get weather up into the 80s today. I think high of 81. So that is really solid. Uh, but we got the cast net in the boat today and the goal is to grab some mullet and then uh, we're going to go for snook. So we might get snook, jacks, maybe if we're real lucky we'll find a tarpon. I know it's early in the year, but there is uh, often tarpon hanging around. But main, uh, main goal is definitely snook. But before that, we got to find some mullet. So here we go. We're going to have to kind of do a little bit of a scavenger hunt for him today. A little hide and seek with the mullet. It is, uh, I have not seen very many as of recently. So we're going to kind of just scout around, see what we can find, throw the cast in around. Maybe we won't even find mullet today and we'll throw some lures around. I don't know. That's how fishing goes. That's when it is sometimes the most fun when you're kind of just winging it. So that's the plan for today. Let's, uh, let's get going. Let's find the mullet and then, uh, search for some snook. All right, he got four or five mullet right there. That had been super, super slow today. Finally came up on a group of them right there that I could reach. There's not many around, which is good. If I can find some good snook today, I should get some bites. If there's not much bait around and I put a bait in front of a fish, they should, you know, their eyes should light up. So let's get those in the bucket. Well, just got those ones pretty good. I think I'm gonna call it there. That'll bring us to about a dozen in the bucket and that should be good enough. I got some bigger ones in there, some smaller ones in there. Good variety. All right, so that'll work. Check these guys out. Something like this. I can pick them up here. That is a good 12 inch mullet there. Big bait, but for a giant snook, should do the trick. Whoa. All right, so check this out. I got this new aerator here. If you guys have noticed in my last couple of videos, I've been using this. Uh, this is Quiet Bubbles. Um, I got a new one. This one's just pretty loud. So we're going to go ahead and take the batteries out of this one and check out. This is the one I got. Hopefully it's quieter. This is hush bubbles it's a, I guess a different hopefully quieter I guess we'll find out I'm gonna put the batteries from here into this one get it started good aerator works fine but it's just a little loud because I'm filming and you can non-stop hear it in the background so let's see if it's any quieter play this one one more time All right, I do put the aerator and keep it in the plastic. It 100% keeps the aerator good longer, prevents it from rusting, but put it back in the plastic here, put the tube on. You guys let me know, let's see if this is any quieter. I wonder if it has to do with it being kind of loud from it being in the plastic. I feel like it's not much quieter, maybe just a pinch. Maybe just a pinch quieter. I'll go ahead and get it set, set back up here. You guys let me know if it's loud or not. I should be getting a new one from Frable here soon, but... A rechargeable one, but we'll go ahead and put this one away. We're good to go on our mullet. Let's see if we can find some snook now. Let's do this. All right, we're good. Let's go over to uh, let's go find somewhere to catch a snook. They're under him. Oh, there's a pop. There's a pop. Might be a tarpon. You get him? Got something. Yeah, it is a tarpon. 
There we go. <laughs> there we go. Funny I said that earlier. Might get lucky enough to get a tarpon today in mid-January. I've been throwing at some snook here. Not, not huge. <laughs> I've been throwing at some snook here. And uh, tarpon came up and slurped him. Oh, come here, bud. I'll take it. If I can get my hands on this guy, this will be the first of the year. Let's see. Oops, something's blasting my mullet up in the trees. I can hear that. Oh! <laughs> right there, I could see him. He was just barely hooked. I actually think he kind of came undone mid-fight and got re-hooked on the inside or the outside of the mouth. A little afraid up there, but... Funny enough, I threw a two snook floating there right on the surface. And uh, the mullet kind of worked its way up into the trees and Tarpon found him and decided it was the right one to eat. Not the biggest deal we lost him, honestly. But I'll go ahead and get retied here. That's nice to get some little bit of Tarpon action in January. I know I'd seen a couple rolling here, so I was in the back of my head saying, oh, I might get a bite here, but we got a bite. So I'll go ahead and just re-rig here. This is 40 pound mono. It's just about decent for snook and decent for tarpon as well. So I wish I had a, would have got a bite from that bigger snook that I threw at, but tarpon's cool as well. Just a little loop knot there will work. We'll trim the tag end, rig up another mullet. Might grab a smaller mullet since I know there's tarpon in the area. I swear I just saw a snook just kind of turn sideways right up ahead here. Kind of creep towards it. It was a large fish if it wasn't a snook. Maybe a redfish or something. It's somewhere right in here. Oh, inhaled it. Oh my gosh. Oh, he didn't get it. He didn't. Oh, he's on. He got it. That one got it. Oh my gosh. Dang, man. That is a strong snook. Oh, I just punched the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh, about time. That is a strong snook. Uh, I don't know if this is the one I saw, but it is about time we got it. Dude, he's bigger than I thought. I thought this fish was like, well, maybe this wasn't even the one I saw. Oh my gosh, he's got to be 32. Let's see if I can get a hand on her here. She's barely hooked. <laughs> hey, that's how you wrangle a snook right there. Oh my gosh, she went crazy for that mullet. Went absolutely crazy for that mullet. Look at that. Beautiful fish. I said 32. Let me test my guest here. I'll bring her in real quick and measure her. She is heavy, heavy, heavy. Ooh. Maybe a little smaller than 32. Let's see. She's on zero there on that ruler, and she's actually 31, so it's an inch short. Huge belly on this fish. Huge, huge belly. Finally, a snook that just turned up and inhaled a mullet. I mean, absolutely crushed it. Hit it once. Missed it. I said, oh, she didn't get it. And uh, turn around and <laughs> slammed it. We, we got her good, too. That 3,500 spin fisher there. Got her in probably, that bite seemed like it was 20 seconds long. Spin her around and send her on her way. <laughs> nice. There we go. We finally put something together. I haven't seen them decent like that kind of all morning. And they've just been kind of heading in the opposite direction of the baits. Not super aggressive. That one. That's the type of snook we're looking for. Oh, let's go. All right, well, pretty epic bite right there. I'm gonna rig up another mullet here. I've been seeing them decent like that kind of all morning, and like I said earlier, they just, I mean, seem like a little smart, I don't know, water temp, who knows what it is. That one just came unglued for it. That's how snooks should be. I wish they were, li well, I wish they were like that 24 seven, but that thing went, shoo, shoo, dude, killed it. Absolutely killed it. Oh, well, we're gonna keep fishing here, but uh, I might have to re-up on some mullet. I really hope we can find some more like that. That was, what, a 31-incher? Great fish. 
great, great fish. I'll just keep on going here. Hopefully the shoreline provides something else. I just went through a bunch of snook. Oh my gosh, these are all snook right here. Surrounded by fish. There's snook everywhere. I just rolled up on them and they were pretty much tailing. Oh boy. Came in a little hot on them. I did not realize that they were here out this far from the mangroves. I just spooked probably 20 fish. Huge snook, loaded, loaded, loaded. Oh, one's on it. Yep, that's it. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. He didn't actually get it. There's more here. Something eat it. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Circle hook didn't grab. Those are all fish right there, all those wakes. Big snook. Don't do this to me, that fish hammered it. I came down tight on it, I don't feel like I hook set, I feel like I did everything right. It's gonna be all right, another big handful of snook right here. They're all actually facing away from me, so I'm gonna try to just put it right in front of their faces. One's on it. One's on it. Oh, they're all on it. Wait. Yep. Just need the right one. Yep. Need the right one. There's multiple fish on my mullet. Just need the right one to get it. Oh, that one. That one should have done it. Ah, oh, dude. Circle hook is not grabbing for me. The fish that grabbed it wasn't huge, to be honest. He was probably a little smaller than the last one I caught. I'll just let those fish be. It's no problem. I'll just let those fish be. I'll just keep moving this shoreline. Let those fish be. I'll come back to them. Absolutely smoked my mullet. It's frayed up eight inches above the hook there, so... I'm gonna have to hit a retie. I'm basically, so what just happened is I moved into a school of probably a hundred snook just back down the shoreline and I just came in a little too hot on them and uh, you know, one fish moves, they all take off. It kind of, that's how it went. So I'm gonna just give this shoreline like 20, 30 minutes. Maybe I'll go fish back more towards my left and then I'll circle back around and move through the shoreline a lot quieter. I should have had that fish. I would have liked to have the fish before that, but Mistakes were made. I might up. I mean, my circle hook is the right size. It's just a kind of a big mullet for that size snook. Put him back in the well. I'm gonna go ahead and retie my leader. Just kind of reset here because I've had two missed eats. I don't want that to happen again. Something should happen here for sure. There's another one. I'll go to the one I can see. I'm just gonna keep casting that snook here, just picking up, keep casting. Oh, that's an eight. That's an eight. Oh my gosh. That is an eight and a half. Big snook. Let's make sure we stay tight. Dude, no way. I'm gonna try to keep this fish out of the trees. Oh, he's right up in there. That's an eat. Oh! I don't know what happened. Did he come unglued or he frayed me? Came unglued. There's just no way. Oh, man. What is my luck today? Just came unglued. That was probably... A... Dude, look at the mullet he smoked. 
just came unglued. I mean, he kind of stopped right there. Probably gave me just the right head shake. Oh, you just gotta be kidding me, man. Look at this mullet. <sighs> oh, well, you win some, you lose some. Like, I'm not gonna try to blame the hook here, because this is the same hook I've snook fished pretty much my whole life with, and I've done great with it, but just a bit unlucky. Just a bit unlucky there. That was a thump. There is fish just stacked in this pocket, so just keep it simple. Put the hook back on and keep trying. That's, that's sometimes all it takes. Sometimes you just have to fail a little bit to succeed. It's kind of tough. I mean, I could have had four or five fish by now. It was a big mullet, too. I don't know if the mullet being on the hook caused any problems putting slack in the line. What I felt like was the reason I wasn't hooking the other ones was because the mullet was staying like directly on the hook, so it could have prevented a good hook set. If I had a good hook set there, the mullet still was just 20 feet up on the line. That's tough. Tough, man. Dude, they're stacked. I can see like a dozen from here. You know what? Screw it. Let me try the K-tail. Oh my gosh, come on. Eat, baby, eat. <laughs> Snook just aired on it. Snook just aired on it, didn't get it though. Man, everything's slipping today. <laughs> oh man, maybe I should have tried this when they were super fired up on the live bait. Oh my gosh, dude, they're so flared. That one hit it short. It's like they're just nipping the back end of it. Looks like I see a couple floating right here, a couple snook. There we go, nice snook, nice snook. There we go. Smoke the K-tail. Oh, come on, come on, stay with me. There we go. I knew something was bound to happen after I saw that last one come up and just smoke it. Or, I guess he didn't smoke it. Chase it down, I should say. Come on, come on. Oh, don't get me up in the tree there. Switch to the 2500 setup and put on the bigger K-tail that I threw in the last video, actually. It's a good bite. That is a good bite right there. Come on. Looks like he's about a 25-inch fish. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let me see if I can get my hand on him here. Oh, smoke that. Oh, yep. And there goes the lure right there. Flew out. Nice fat fish right there. Nice fat snook. I'll go ahead and just lay him back in and just do a quick release on this guy. I know there's plenty of these guys around. They're just, it seems like they start to eat later in the day. From my past two, uh, like I'd say successful fishing, fishing trips where we're finding snook. The later in the day, the better. So I'll spin this guy around here if he lets go of my thumb. There he goes, quick and easy. Quick and easy. So I don't have much mullet left. This is why I switched over to the K-tail. No live bait needed. Good name for it. We got one. We got a bite. So let's keep going here. That is our second fish land of the day. I really should have like three or four right now, but that was a sick eat. There's another snook right here, so they're still around here. Let's keep fishing. No. Oh, no way. Snook is all over it, but the lure got messed up. It got hooked on something. Oh, I see what happened here. That's crazy. That snook was all over it. A little eyelet kind of came out of the bait when I cast it and tried to skip. All right, we're back in. We should be good here. Oh, Snook just smoked it right there off the bottom. Smoke the K-tail was barely moving. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't believe he ate that. I can't even see the bait. It either fell out or he's got it so deep in his mouth I can't see it. Oh no, I see it. No way. 
don't go under the boat. Oh my gosh, good fish. I don't know if you guys could see any of that, but I was just watching the bait as I was reeling in, probably six feet away from the boat, and I just saw the mouth come up and boom, smoke it. There we go, that's a great fish actually. Great fish, I was just slow reeling that down on the bottom. Well, not on the bottom, but middle of the water column. Beautiful fish. Let's see if I can get a hand on this fish. This looks like a little bit bigger than the last one. Oh, that k tail's doing work. Doing work. All right, guys. Well, beautiful fish right there. It looks like this fish is probably 26 inches. But, I mean, inhaled. I switched to the k tail because I was running low on live mullet. And it paid off. That's like two good fish in the pack. Like it's outfishing the mullet right now because they're able to catch it really easily. The thing about mullet is sometimes the mullet can escape the snook. But I was just working this guy real low, real slow, and uh, this came up. This fish came up and just inhaled it. Caught me off guard, but it was epic. I saw the whole thing. So great fish. We'll get them unhooked, put them back in the water, and uh, it's turned out to be not a half bad day. That's a good one right there. All right, well, snook fishing is back. I mean, man, they're eating well today, and I gotta say, it's probably because of that warmer weather we're getting. It's probably probably close to 80 right now. But we'll go ahead and send this guy back on his way. Beautiful fish, ready to go. There he goes, right back up into the mangroves. Whew. All right, well, we're kind of we're figuring out as it, it out as we go today, but. I mean, we're getting some good bites right now. The K-tail's kind of destroyed this one. I'm, <laughs> I have used it for several trips now, and uh, it's it's still going for me. I think I just need to replace the hook on it because somehow I lost the little screw lock when that fish hit and shook around and stuff. But not a half bad day so far. We're doing pretty good, pretty good. So I'm gonna keep fishing here. I think I'm gonna stick with this right now. I still got maybe two mullet in the bucket. I don't know if I'll pull them out again. I do have real one really big one. So if the fish don't happen to want this, I'll. Uh, I will uh, try that bigger mullet in there, uh, but man, a little bit of excitement today. I like it. It has been the spring months. It's not spring yet, but the spring weather is starting to roll in, and it just, yeah, it's like energy for me. It's so much fun out here. I can't say it enough. I hate the cold weather, and uh, to be out here in just one layer, shorts, bathing suit, whatever, it's uh, it's a good day. So let's, uh, I gotta get re-rigged here. I think I gotta grab another screw lock out of my bag, get re-rigged. I'll keep using that same K-tail, five and a half inch. And it looks like a fresh mullet, kind of gray color. And uh, we'll keep working the mangroves, but they're starting to eat really good. And uh, I think we got some time for some more fish. So let's do it. Yep, yep, yep. Hammered the K-tail. Oh, <laughs> no, you gotta be kidding me. It came unglued. Oh, it is just, I mean, I've caught some good fish today, but that fish was probably 30 inches. It's like when them fish run and then they come to a dead stop, somehow they can get the hook, regardless of what it is, because the same thing happened with circle hooks today, out of their mouth. Oh. That was a good bite, a really good bite. And I think maybe this K-tail has had some better days. So let me see if I can swap it out here. Windy, windy shoreline, just rolling it, rolling it, got thumped. And man, when they take that run and, and they come to a stop and shift their momentum, it's like, boom, that hook comes right out. And I felt like, man, I had them good too. Oh, I wanna say that's just fishing. That's just fishing. Alrighty guys, well I just made my last cast. I'm sort of worn out, but uh, we had a day. I mean, it it should have been a lot better than it was. I had, what, we landed three fish. Uh, we lost that, I think we landed three fish. We lost that little tarpon in the morning, which is no big deal, but those snook coming off the hook, man, those kind of hurt. Felt a little bit defeated from that. Uh, but so it was, you win some, you lose some, and today it kind of just felt like we, we tied. We just broke even for how we were fishing. I was getting the bites really well today, 
from both mullet and uh, the NLBN today. So that was really good to see. I wish I just had capitalized a little bit better and, you know, went home with six fish and three of them being, you know, that one I lost that was, that took off like 200 miles an hour, probably a hundred feet away from the boat. He was probably 35 inches. So that one hurt a little bit. Really wish I could have had that one. But other than that, it's fishing, you know, you win, you lose, and you know, you just come back to do it again another day. And that's kind of how today was. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm so excited for this year. The warm weather is just getting me, I mean, truly so, so excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell. Uh, it'll help you get updated on videos that I uploaded and uh, send you a little notification. That helps a lot as well. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in that next video. See you guys.